Welcome to another episode of Air Guns and Pesting Channel. What I have in front of you is a Caliber Gun Cricket 2 Tactical 60. This one is chambered in 2 2. The Cricket 2 Tactical 60 comes in 2 2, 2 5, and 30 calibers. Whereas the Cricket Tactical, the Cricket 2 Tactical 45, the shorter version of this, comes in 177 and 22. Okay, we got that out of the way. This carries a one year warranty made in the Czech Republic. Two 14 round magazines. Cock and handle can be switched from left to right, which I already did. Two stage adjustable trigger. There's the safety. In and out, very simple. You got a gauge that fills this uh, gun fills a 300 bar or 4,000 something psi, but 300 bar, 500 cc carbon fiber bottle. The barrel is a CZ, one of my favorites. And it's shrouded with a half 20 on the end if you want to add on additional moderator to hush it up even more. I haven't found the need to add it to this uh, particular gun, but it's there and available. Pick a tiny rail. Other features does this have here? I got a, okay. Overall length of the gun is 33.1 inches. What I like about this particular platform is when you cock the gun, let me do that now. There's a little red indicator that pops up. There. This is where you adjust the hammer spring. A rubber butt pad with the raised bumps on it. It adjusts up and down. I purchased this gun from Tom over there at High Pressure Pneumatics in Harrison, Michigan. Thank you, Tom. Here is the manual for it. Oh, fill port right here. Goes right in there. You have to buy the female adapter. It doesn't come with it. Picatinny rail underneath the carbon fiber bottle or grip your bipods or what whatnot. This is uh, considered one of their top of the line guns. Now I know they just recently came out with a full uh, automatic, semi-automatic version of this gun. They also came up with um, a one piece stock according to what I've seen on their website where you can have just a one piece stock instead of a two piece like this one here. 
Uh, they come in uh, wood and synthetic stock and laminate. And then the two pieces, same thing. They come with you know wood or synthetic or laminate version for this. Now, it's a beautiful gun, very accurate. I have shot slugs out of this gun. It, uh, don't remember the distances, but it was beyond 50 yards and it's very accurate. And I did a pessing video with this uh, earlier this year. So, the, the thing I don't like about this gun, and I might as well show you now. You have to cock the cocking lever back. It takes a little getting used to, but... These are all metal mags, by the way. You have to insert it with the cog wheel in the rear of the action. Can't do, I don't wanna do it right now because it's gonna take two hands. That's the only uh, downside to uh, caliber guns, even though I, I do like them since I have, let's see how many, I got three, this is four, the Argus five, and Capybara six. Well, I have six uh, caliber guns. And this was the last one I bought. I bought this uh, last year from High Pressure Pneumatics. That's the only downside I can find with this gun is the magazine system. I'm used to it now, but for a first time user, it, it takes a little fiddling to get uh, get used to loading the magazines, but once you got it down pat, then it, it shoots just fine. So, I'm gonna give it a weight test with the optics I have on it. It says here, 8.3 pounds unscoped. 600 millimeter barrel or 23.6 and this one is has no choke 17.7 twists 12 groove so that's the features this is, like I said, this is their, um, their manual. It is printed in English. It just basically goes over the gun, even though this is not pictured the, the right one I have in front of you. It's the, the standard cricket version with the side lever still in the back. It's not in the front part. But it is what it is. It's basically uh, the same Cricut Gen 1, but with the cock and lever moved to the front for the most part. And it just shows you uh, right here how to load the magazines, what to do with this little, little arm little arm right here but 12 month one year warranty you can get uh, warranty work done at either air guns of Arizona or Georgia air guns and this one was made there you go 531 of 2021 this is another one of my unicorn guns that I own that I like uh, shooting off camera so you'll see it back in action again on a pressing 
on a farm permission doing some pest control. But for now, let's uh, get a weight with scope and trigger weight and 30 yard, uh, you know, backstop, check my scope. See if it's uh, zero where it's supposed to be. All right, be right back. Trigger pull test. First stage. There you go. Gun weight, 11 pounds, 16 ounces. Okay, folks. It's gonna test out some uh, different projectiles out of this uh, Cricket Tactical. Starting with my favorite pellet, the Daisy Hollow Points 15.27. You should be able to hear the feet per second. Guess not. Gotta reposition the crony. Let's try for this one over here. Eight hundred eighty-two. Eight hundred eighty-one. Okay, that's with the daisies. Up next, uh, second favorite pelt that I like: the Crossman Hollow Point Domes or Piranhas. So we'll go down to one down below. 862. The wind is blowing out there a little bit. Oh, it's really blowing. So that's going to play again to the accuracy game. Eight hundred sixty-eight. One more. Eight hundred eighty-one. Up next is going to be the JSB Haiti 15.89. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. We'll go for that lower one down below. I don't even have the, the hammer spring really turned up on this gun. 857.
161. Eight hundred sixty-one. Seems like those are pretty good. Good uh, Hades. Up next is the H and N Barracuda Fifteen. Okay, let's. See what these barracudas are gonna do. One next to it. Eight hundred One more. Eight hundred sixty-five. Not bad, not bad. Well, they're all good with the exception of the, the Daisy Hollow points. Didn't seem to, to like that. But not all my guns do. So up next would be the Air Arms 18 Grainers. Well, I'm going to turn up the hamstring a little bit for this one. Air Arms 18 Grain with the hammer spring turn two turns. All right. Try that one right there. 832. Didn't make any difference. 848. Okay. Give it three turns. 896. Okay. I turned it one and a half turns, approximately. 964. Ooh. 974. Let me try a different target here. We're going to do another five with this. 18. With a higher speed. 956. came from 968 must have been a pellet that got mixed in that's more like it well there you go that's nice cranking it up okay we're on 30 shots already so let's try uh, what else do we have out here? I can try 15.9. Well, let's try the JSB version. 18.13. Up next. Okay, here we go. 18.13 JSBs. And that's 30 foot pounds, over 30 foot pounds. 970. 
Thirty-one foot pounds. Nine hundred seventy. Yeah, one more. Nine hundred sixty-five. Now we're gonna try it. Turn down a little bit. Five more. Because it could be going way too fast. And I think it is. Let's see if we can't tighten up the groups. 907. That's eh, more like it. 910. 915. Like Makes a big difference. Speed. Uh. 912. One more. 911. There you go, folks. Turn it down, and the groups tighten right up. And I bet they'll tighten up even more if I go under 900. Up next, Air Arms 16 Grainers. We're going to test it at the current setting. This will be way over 900, but we'll see what happens. 954. Nine hundred sixty-seven. Nine hundred seventy-six. Whoa. Nine hundred seventy-one. Well, just found the magic pellet. At least looks like it's a uh, one holer down there. Air Arms 16 Grainers. Okay, up next is the Bay State Howler Slugs at 20.13 grain. Okay, Bay State Howler Slugs. All right, let me get myself situated here. We'll go for that one right there. I gotta get this gun rest a little, a little more steady here. The whole table's wobbly. Here we go. 846. Okay. Crank it up. Five turns, laugh out loud. Eight hundred ninety six. Turn it some more. Eight hundred forty nine. Nine hundred fifty three. Hold that one, guys. I wasn't ready for that shot. 953. I gotta move over to a different target now. Okay, here we go. 950. Oh. All right. 
948. Okay. Got interrupted there with a phone call. 945. 945. There you go. Let me do, turn up a little bit more and see what happens. I'll do five more and there'll be 60 shots out of this uh, gun for today. Oh, six hundred seventy. Uh, disregard that one. I double loaded that one, it had to be. 959. I think that was it. That was it. Okay, did good with the uh, hunglers. All right, folks. Folks out there, stay safe, shoot straight. May your pellet or slug hit his target. We'll see you in the next episode of Air Guns and Testing Channel. See ya.